What's up guys? Fish in the North here with you today. Um, I've got a little short hack for you guys uh, that you use portable portable fish finders, transducers, whatever. And it really has to do with chargeability. Um, they've included on this hummingbird unit a little back access port for the battery. And I can't get my fingers up there to unhook and attach that no way way too tight and the other way is just time consuming and uh, really inefficient and that's to take out your whole unit to access the battery terminals in the back hopefully you guys can see that there it might be a bit dark Whoops. So, I've got a little, little hack for you guys that'll just open up another possibility uh, for, for a little bit of a speedier, speedier charge. So, what I've got is, they're called pigtail connectors. I ordered them off Amazon. I got a bulk pack of, I guess, uh, 10 pairs. So, basically all these are is... A male-female adapter. That's what the uh, that's what the actual specific term is. But it's just uh, one will be wired to your battery, the other one will be wired to your charger, and then all you'll have to do is pull out this guy from your unit, um, and you don't have to unhook any of the battery terminals. You don't have to do anything like that, and then you can plug this guy from the wall just together like so and your battery will charge so it'll save you about a couple a couple seconds here and there um, and it's just a really easy really easy thing to, to, to wire up to make your life a lot easier so this isn't necessarily unit specific uh, you can do this for anything I know on our Vexlar we had to do the same thing um, just just for ease because it's a bit of a pain in the butt getting back in there on some of the models um, so it's really really easy um, I'll walk you guys through it make it quick and uh, show you guys the end result alrighty guys so I'm just gonna give you a quick look at what it is we're doing so as you can see here you've got a female connector and a male connector what we're going to do is we're going to hardwire uh, one of each. I think we're going to put our female on the battery and we'll put our male connector onto our wall charger. So we're going to replace these ugly alligator clips and we'll get rid of the... This is, this is crazy. This is the thinnest wire. I mean, I know it's just 12 volts, but man, like that is crazy. That's got to be, I don't even know. I'm looking at 22, 22 gauge, and it's half the size of that. It's ridiculous. But anyway, we're going to splice into this and uh, wire everything up, and then I'll come back to it to show you where I'm at. guys so I've got the um, hummingbird charger wired up I got the pigtail on there it's the male end so what I used were just the crimp connects and uh, heat shrink tubing 
Um, if you're worried about water, you can also use liquid electrical tape. To finish this off, I'm just going to put a bit of electrical tape on it, but even that's really not necessary because this guy shouldn't be getting wet because um, it'll obviously be inside on a on a wall plug. So we'll get the other side wired up. All right. So since this is going to be a three-way connection, since we'll have our pigtail, our line going to the battery, and we'll have our, our sorry, our line going to the unit, and then our line going to the battery. Um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to take your pigtail line and your battery, and you're going to just twist the two together so that it will uh, interwind the, the, the strands of copper and um, provide a solid connection there so that when our um, when our butt connector pinches uh, it'll it'll keep them wound together they won't come undone uh, it's just a better connection um, and it's the best I could think of right now there are other means of doing this but this is just what I'm going to do right now so I just figured I'd show you guys a little close-up of what that looks like. Alrighty guys, so I got the wiring done. Here is our three-way connections. As you can see, we've got our two, two battery leads. Positive, negative. And we've got our pigtail all wired together. So we're just going to hook up our connections and uh, test out if she works or not, which fingers crossed it will. So you can see there, leads are good, hooked up. This is our pigtail here to our pigtail in the wall and that's our green light right there and as I plug it in it should change to yellow if it charges we'll go ahead and connect them and as you can see that light has switched to orange indicating that the unit is charging and my battery is full so it should shut off any second but I'll show you guys here. It's all hooked up, ready to go. I'll just unhook this and hook up my fish finder and powers up like nothing. So, just a quick little quick little hack for you guys. So what I've noticed is that on the outside of the bag there is a little, uh, little, I don't even know what to call it, but it's slotted. So I'm going to go ahead and try and slide the uh, pigtail connector through this and that'd make it even easier. I won't even have to open up any zippers at all. It'll just be turn the unit, plug her in. Alrighty guys, we're back. So, this is what the finished product looks like. I'll show you guys that she's working good. Power on. Beautiful. Turn her back off. And this is the side port that I was talking about. It's just a little wee... Like I said, I don't know what the heck to call it. But uh, here is your adapter, and for quick charging, I'm just going to lay her down, plug her in, and boom, we're charging. So, I hope you guys liked the video. If you like this simple hack, give it a thumbs up, 
And as always, thanks for watching.